All right, what's up everybody? I'm back in the Rocky Meadow. I found uh, 23 days earlier when I was first hiking the mountain of trail here. And uh, there's been a few changes, but also a lot of stuff seems to be the same. Uh, for starters, oh, just slip right there. I was hoping that uh, that plant that I thought was a toxic ascorium would be fully developed enough to tell, but it hasn't quite gotten to that point yet, unfortunately. And uh, like right here, for instance, this is what it looks like now. I do think it is still in the running to be a toxic ascorium. More likely going to be paniculatum, I think. Maybe, I don't know. That would be the foothill death, death cam ass instead of venonosum, but we'll, we'll have to see where how the pretty solaris actually tell apart properly. But that is, uh, I, I still think that's what it is. We'll know for sure later, though. And, uh, but otherwise, I mean, there's not a whole lot else that is um, changed. But there are a few more flowers and I want to show them off. Another really nice plant I've seen coming up just here right now is this guy. This is the Mertensia species or bluebell. I'm guessing uh, Fusiformis, the Mertensia Fusiformis, because it's got hairs that point out up to the outside edge of a leaf and just a few other features. That's how I keyed it out to be. It could be some other species though, because I'm, I'm not the best at this to be honest, but it, uh, we'll have to see for sure. But regardless, yeah, it's pretty nice. And uh, it's found this meadow, and uh, there's a few other Mertensia species you might see later in my videos, if you're lucky. I'm off, who am I kidding? We're almost certainly going to see a mountain bluebells, which has uh, ciliata, are quite common in every parts of the uh, Wasatch. Now, one plant I haven't been able to see uh, here right now has been Lomatium linearifolium, which was, that was a plant I thought was a member of APACA last time, but wasn't, couldn't tell for sure. It turned out I was correct. It was a member of APACA, but I was a little shocked to see that it was also Lomatium. But anyways, you're not going to see it right here, right now at the moment, because it is, um, I don't know, I think it's past bloom and I just haven't been seeing it around. Uh, so I'll include a picture of what it looks like right now. There is also this crepus species which I still can't identify, but it's the uh, one I plucked a leaf from in the previous video and I still have to make my penance for it. I haven't had the time to weed any myrtle spurge to uh, make up for the fact that I damaged a native plant. So. I'm not, I'm not going to pull a leaf on this one right now, so just trust me that it has a milky latex sap if I were to uh, pull a leaf off of it. And uh, when it does bloom, it'll produce a pretty typical uh, chicory subfamily type flower. But anyways, there hasn't been a massive amount of change here, just uh, some few new species coming up and a few that we saw last time still developing. Uh, we'll have to, I'll have to come back here again probably in a month's time to really see what's what. But uh, otherwise, as we got so far, yeah, pretty cool meadow. Also, right here for you, I'll get some bonus footage of Salt Lake City. Hope you enjoy. Really, I just gotta practice my panning and zooming skills while I'm actually filming.